Hello everybody, welcome to the Crucial Replay cast, round of 32 tiebreaker between Frankie129 and Slade Black Mage. Frankie with the Undead, Slade with the Humans, Slade chose to kick, he won the toss, chose to kick against Undead with their scary mighty blow players. Um, Slade is from PC, USA, qualified through TRBBL, and uh, Frankie is also a PC player, qualified through the NBB. And is Spanish. Frankie won his group. Um, Slade actually finished third in his group, but got Gabias's spot because Gabias could not play in the round of 32 on well the final phase. So he got a little bit lucky to get here, Slade. Um, but he's got through to the uh, the tiebreaker match, so he's he's in with a shot versus these undead. Oh, and they've actually got both. They've unpainted teams, haven't they? They have not painted their teams. Um, very sad default colours, default logos, low effort, low effort teams here. Oh, the kick on the sidelines interesting. Probably have to re-roll the pick up here because going in the crowd would be a disaster. Slade has got five re-rolls, which is, I mean, it's quite good, right? And he's got 13 players, so like, I don't hate it, but I think I would have gone block on the, uh, on the thrower still. Five guard is nice. Blocking the catch is fine. And uh, Frankie's got a pretty normal team. Two guards, a tackler, a couple of blocks and a wrestle. Yeah, so pretty normal, pretty standard undead team. And a pretty standard human team, really. So the three dice bangs from the mummies did nothing. Unpainted. Yeah, disgusting. Disgraceful behaviour, not painting your World Cup team. So that was, that was a lucky pickup, because with three re-rolls and mummies, you know, like you want to make blockless blocks all the time, basically, so... You can get stretched on re-rolls. Yeah, five re-rolls, pretty nice. It really is pretty nice. I do think I would be okay with four and a block thrower, but... You know, then you've got like the block thrower versus woodies and stuff, haven't you? That's pretty strong. Honestly, grey plastic teams would be hilarious, but... Wow, that's a nice punch. Funny thing is the 13 players isn't quite enough, right? Because one of them's a halfling, so you've really got 12 and a half. They really, they really could do a full grey cosmetic, yeah, it'd be funny, wouldn't it? It would be funny. <laughs> the problem is, it'd probably be annoying to play against and would look a bit rubbish, right? It doesn't... Uh, they, they shouldn't do that. It's a, it's a fun idea, but they shouldn't do it, should they? Gets the hit on the guarder here. But he's likely going to get that mummy knocked over this turn. Ooh. Ah, I think, think that probably needed a blitz, right, to get him off the sideline. I don't think it probably needed a blitz. <laughs> it definitely needed a blitz. I'm kind of shocked that... He had to, because he had to get this guy off as well. This could be, like, real bad. But instead, I'm trying to base the ball. No. Come back for the mummy hit. Okay, I mean, you've got to surf. You've got to surf one of these blitzers, haven't you? You can take a pound surf the other one. Yeah, they can toggle red blue. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. So yeah, that's a lovely block, isn't it? To set up the blitz. Oh, dub skulls. 
Maybe should have moved the ball first. Because... Okay, gets a Kaz. Beautiful, that's a guard player down. Oh, he appled it. Wow, appled a serious injury. Very risky, doesn't pay off. 37.5%. Yeah, like this move should have happened before the uh, before the blitz, right? In case it failed. Pushes him onto the uh, mummy, which isn't that good because it just means he's definitely going to get blitzed by the ogre, right? And get to block the other one down, block one down, and mighty blow the other one down. No, maybe not block him down. Okay, so now he's successfully completely isolated one mummy. Oh, he's stupid. Then he fails the reroll. And then he skulls. And then he dub skulls. Oh, God, he's down to two rerolls now. On turn three, his, his apple's gone. He's got ten players in the pitch, and he's down to two rerolls. This is. Uh not good. I hate this block. I hate that block. What I'm doing here, it's turn four. Andy will enjoy this <laughs> if he was still here. You put a player in there and two players in here and you block this guy and then you cha you, you surf his uh, blitzer, right? Like you 100%, you have to surf this blitzer. It's just too good. It's just literally too good to surf, to surf in this blitzer. You have to. However, whichever way you're going to do it, you have to surf this blitzer. Like, you could just blitz this guy and then block him out and stuff. But, like, what, whatever you do, you just have to surf this blitzer 100%. I think. Like, it's okay. Yeah, you can stand a zombie on him and, like, you know, hopefully keep him down. But I think you have to surf him. Like, you've got plenty of time. You've got movement seven ghouls. There's, like, no threat of the ball sack, right? Where it is. There's actually more threat of the ball sack now. Because he could just five plus one D you. <laughs> Three D from... That's brutal, isn't it? This, this mummy that should have been 2D by the uh, ogre who now instead gets the three dice. Okay, could have got the three dice, that guy. I would have definitely moved in the assist. It's going to foul? It's going to... Oh, no, he's going to foul the catcher. Fair enough. Oh, he, could have, he could have pushed away the guard, couldn't he? That might have been an idea. Push away the guard. This game does have overtime. Yep, this is the tiebreaker match. Um, I believe Frankie won the first game and Slade won the second game. And this is the third deciding match with overtime enabled. Oh dear. Um... Not really sure what he was going for there. Because, like, he could have just punched him, right? He could have done one and punched him. But he could have dodged this guy out and then dodged and punched him. But maybe he was just trying to, like... You know, he's going to fail at some point, but just trying to get him on the right side. Seems guaranteed to fail, though, doesn't it? Like, so many five pluses. Oh, dear. Here's a Kaz. Top skulls. Uh, don't like that when you've got this guy free, right? A blockless block. You've got a block full block straight away, and you've got your guy who hasn't moved as well. So 
So slight turn ordering issues, but again, lots of stress in these games. And uh, completely understandable. Yes, he should have received. I mean, I mean, I think you should receive. I think most people should receive most of the time. Basically. Because I feel like <laughs> receiving is better most of the time. And the times that it isn't better and you're wrong, it's better to be wrong by receiving, right? But yeah, there was a pretty easy, there was a pretty easy uh, 2D. But didn't get it. Yeah, or you could have one deed, yeah. Like one D's really hard though, right? Because he's got he's got blodge. So I think I like trying to make it like going for the four three. To make it a two D. But now it's safe, because now he's completely past him and now he gets to tee off with mummies. And foul. So now it's looking horrendous for the uh I guess he's not getting to foul, is he? No, he is. He's not going to hit the ogre. Wow. Gets a Kaz. I would have really wanted to hit the ogre there, right? You could have just punched this one first. And then 2D the uh, ogre, maybe. But fouling the uh, blitzer. I would have fouled the blitzer. I would have come and fouled this guy, right? So he can't... Maybe stuck force you in earlier. I guess he's not really gonna. Oh no, the ogre! <laughs> the ogre instantly fails. Okay, he gets the three dice with the oh, with the um, mummy, which is pretty nice. Oh, and foul the ogre. He can three dice with a mummy and foul the ogre. That's what he's gonna do, isn't he? Because the Blitzer can't affect anything now. Too slow. Didn't even need anybody out there, did he? Sure. Oh no, he could have gone there and had another assist. Surely you're fouling the Ogre, right? Kaz. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this guy could have assisted from here to get another assist on. And this guy could have come in there as well, I think. Removed. <laughs> Not sent off. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's been slaughtered. I mean, Undead do this sometimes, don't they? Undead are a pretty good team for doing this sometimes. And, uh, yep, that's why you should probably never kick to them <laughs> as humans. <laughs> doesn't do a turn 8. I mean, he could have punched things. He, wait, he had, did he have the ogre? No, the ogre was stunned, was KO'd. I mean, he could have still tried a one turn, right? He had the catcher. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. I mean, I guess he's he's mentally defeated at this point, right? With the, the amount of cars and KOs. I guess why he didn't do it. But he could have scored the one turn. Or could have, you know, cast three zombies. For your tournament life, you've got to try it. Yeah, but yeah, checked out, yeah. Yeah, oh, he looks totally checked out, in fact. Oh. Well, <laughs> well, well, yeah. Ah, it's fair. I mean, it's it's fair. I mean, like people, we're, we're just we're just normal. We're just normal men, you know. Like he's not a he's not a professional blood bowl player or anything, is he? And. Uh, Feels like he's been diced. I mean, he has been diced. Like, he did give away a lot of blocks, as you say. 
and did choose to kick but you know this is still still quite a lot <laughs> um, but yeah I guess he's uh, yeah exactly yeah I mean he absolutely could have made his three blocks on turn eight made three cars made three blocks now made three cars right he, he could have he could have I was just thinking of uh, there, there was like there's a clip from like a TV show where like there's like a, some kind of like kind of you know like a hand puppet kind of thing and then he goes we're just normal men normal innocent men <laughs> and I just thought of that because it's hilarious you should watch that I don't know what the I don't know what the clip's called but if you haven't seen that it's absolutely hilarious and like there's a woman on it and she absolutely breaks down like crying laughing <laughs> it was like some like in joke with like the production crew or whatever but it was so funny like it's so funny and then so I thought of that when I said that when I said we're normal we're just normal men but it's true isn't it like you know it's it's completely understandable completely understandable he's checked out of this and, you know the the chance he had was insanely low so he just he just gave up fair enough fair enough Well, it's funny because the other two the other two games that they had were so fun that I hope this was another one. Um, and you know it kind of was a fun game for a half, wasn't it, I guess. But yeah, a concede on Turner, yeah, it's essentially a concede, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But it's funny. It's funny that um, I didn't score on turn sixteen to avoid the one in a million chance of my opponent getting a timeout into one turn, into blitz or timeout, into another, into like a reverse one turn. <laughs> and I was like, well, no, there's a one in a million chance of that. I won't do it. Whereas uh, he didn't try the one in a million chance of. You know, three blocks, three cars, three blocks, three cars. He could he could have made seven oh, plus the blitz. He could have made seven cars right in two turns, and then just wins. So um, he didn't go for it, and yeah, now. You know, this isn't collusion, is it? They've he's assessed that his cage is strong enough, so he's just gonna do that, and then it's over. So there you go, Frankie. Frankie wins, um, a pretty brutal game for Slade Black Mage, commiserations to him, congratulations Frankie129, he gets to play Strider in the second round, and uh, yeah, there you go, thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.